Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the Patreon supporting this channel. Hello everyone, in this video I want to demonstrate uh, the quickest basic setup to use Animancer as your animation system. This is going to be like having the old animation, legacy animation, where you have your component uh, with all the animations to play. So let's go ahead. What we need is uh, first of all to have a running uh, Action act, uh, 3D action RPG demo from from Orc Framework site. So if we hit play, this is a running application, a running demo already. As you can see. So what I do it also is to download from the Asset Store the Animancer Light plugin. This is the free one for you to test. I have created. A demo folder. I have duplicated the LM prefab and assigned a different material so it will um, be different than the one coming from the demo. I also, what I did is to uh, duplicate some of the animations because bear in mind that uh, the demo is using root motion to move the character so if if I now uh, click on one of these duplicated animations and select the mesh so if I click play now it's running on place and I achieved that just by baking the root transfer position as well same for the sprint which is basically the same uh, same animation but uh, uh, faster and then we have also the walk so already baked into the root transform position the loop for the walk animation is not good and also probably we are not going to use it because uh, we are using keyboard and we have only uh, whether the player is running or not Okay, so let's go in. So the first thing we want to do, as you can see here in the prefab, I have uh, no controller in the animator uh, altogether. Uh, we can remove this apply root motion and we can leave everything as it is. Then if we go and open up the Orc Framework Editor, it's on the screen. We can go to the combatants. Let's select combatant, Ellen, copy, and let's uh, change the name. Let's say this is Ellen Animonster. Click OK. Now we need to go into the animations and movement section. So from here we want to keep uh, replace default animation, but here in the animation system, let's check own animation system, and let's check and select custom one. Now we need here to assign the name of the component class that will be handle these uh, animations. So for that we need to create a new script. So let's go back to the, save these changes. And let's create here a script and let's call it character animancer component. Why not? Let Unity compile and let's open up in the ID of choice you had. So here we want to add a reference or a use statement for Animancer. 
then we need to create a serialized field and let's call it private name it animancer component and let's call it animancer then let's assign a property to it as well so public name it animancer component animancer and this will get our serialized property so in order to org framework to work with a custom system we only need to provide a function or a method to play the animation and another to stop the animation so let's create those public void play what the heck play thank you and the public void stop inside this method we are just going to call our animancer so animancer dot try state try sorry try play and as a parameter we are going to pass the name of the animation so let's create here a string a name to play and let's pass it if I can copy here the parameter there we go and let's do the same here so a string a name to stop in this case And let's call animancer stop and the name of the animation we want to stop so let's uh, unity let compile the script and let's go back to the unity editor click on the prefab that you duplicated about uh, from Ellen and let's open up the prefab let's select the root and assign our script now we need of course to add a named animator component to it let's move it up and assign the component to our serialized field okay and you can see automatically it detected that uh, the animator in the root by default is set to play automatically but we are going to uncheck this one and then we have this list of animations that we can create so let's add our run animation walk animation and also the idle animation this one we can select it from the um, the project itself so let's go to 3d game kit characters ln animation clips and select the idle animation actually let's put it at the beginning walk forward and run forward there we go so we have these three animations I'm not adding the roll animation because this one is uh, root motion and uh, it wouldn't work in this case so if you have for example a jump animation that is not root motion it will work but having root motion won't work not because any monster because it's how Orc Framework is uh, using its character controller. Okay, so let's continue. We have our already set up our Animancer uh, binding here. Let's go back to the Orc Framework. So again, back in home, and we were left here in the animation system. So we need to set here the name of the of the component that we created so character animancer component let's type it up or let's just copy paste the name here boom there we go let's save the changes and what we need to do now is to create a, an animation set for this new character 
So instead of using the standard Helen animation, we need to create a new one. So let's go to base control and then we have animations. We have the Helen one, but just create a new one. So add, let's call this one Animonster, why not? And let's collapse legacy and mechanic, and then we are left with the custom settings. So let's click here also custom settings. So we also uh, always go directly to the custom settings animation and let's create a brand new one. And this one is going to be animation type of idle. And of course the class name we want to call is again our character animator animator component and the function name is going to be play. It already detected the function name and is expecting a parameter. Of course, this parameter is of type of string and the name of the animation, it needs to match the name of the animation we added. So in this case is Ellen idle. And to stop the stop function, we need to again add the class name and the function will be stop And the parameter we add again, Ellen Idle. Let's save the changes and let's give it a try. But first of all, we need, of course, to set this new combatant to the main combatant. So let's go to schematics, uh, open schematic, and let's uh, find the start game schematic start game open and here in the join group instead of Ellen we are going to join with Ellen Animonster save the schematic okay so after saving this schematic we need to go to the base and, and control again and in the game controls let's click on org control settings scroll down and you can see that by default the player control type is set to button but is set to move type to use the animation root motion so we need to change this to character controller okay and save the settings confirm now we need to assign the let me collapse this one our new prefab to the combatant so let's go and select combatants Ellen Animonster and then in the base settings we see that the prefab setting is set to Allen uh, variant so let's just drag this new prefab here save the settings then let's go back to the animations and movement and instead of uh, using the Allen animations we need to select Animancer in this case also we need to because we are using now the um, character controller movement type we need to select the auto animation so we can select we can use the uh, speed setup here to move the character okay and of course in the movement settings we have this walk speed run speed and sprint but remember that since we are using keyword we only get to whether to run or not so let's double check to save everything and let's give it a try so let me make more room here and click play so what we expect to see here is that at the start we have our new prefab and is running the idle animation so if we were to select the game object here we see that the name animator component is playing the idle animation we set the run and forward and walk sorry forward but we have not yet set up these animations in our framework so we are moving but it's not animating those movements so to quickly set up those animations let's go into org framework editor or machine org and into the base control animations animancer custom settings let's duplicate this custom animation 
So uh, click on copy. Now we have a custom animation one. In this case, the animation type is of type run, and it uh, will be the same component and the same functions name, but we need to change the parameter, and we set the name to run forward. So let's copy this, the name of the animation. in the play and in the stop and let's save the changes now let's test click on play and let's find the game object we need see now that animancer is playing the idle animation so if I now click on the W key now we are moving to the forward animation so there you go this is an easy way to uh, add animations another animation system without the complexity of having uh, set up a mechanic or animator control thank you for watching